Hey everybody, it's Winchell again with another uh, quick tutorial here. I had someone ask me a, a question. Uh, his name was Mr. Random 177. Uh, he wanted to know how to route a stereo track and record it into uh, Cubase or how to set it up, basically. Now, uh, if if you've got a regular sound card on your computer, uh, most chances are you're able to just select it right over here on the left hand side on the inputs. Uh, you you basically click here and you can go down to stereo in left and right. Right now I've got it set to mono on this channel but let's say I right click in this this gray area here and I can add an audio track and it asks me do I want to add mono stereo you can choose you know uh, 5.1 surround sound um, but you wanted stereo so you select stereo and as long as this has a stereo input you should be able to get it from your microphone jack or as long as your microphone jack is a stereo input also commonly known as a line in um, also if you've got a external sound card and you want to try to set up a stereo input input through that let's say your sound card is just two input and it only gives you two mono uh, you go up to devices and go down to VST connections and it brings up this window and here you can configure your inputs and your outputs so you can route however you want um, now right now I just added a mono track here um, so that way I could do this microphone for this uh, for this tutorial but what you're gonna wanna do is add a bus right here and you're gonna wanna add a stereo bus which is a left and a right click OK and here you can see it's stereo in 2 I'm gonna double click that so I can change it and I'm just gonna call it uh, test stereo enter alright now to the right here you're gonna see these yellow highlighted you get to choose which one you want it to be if you've got more than one input or more than two inputs you can change them uh, most of the time if you've got just uh, one in or excuse me two inputs it will automatically default them to those um, if not you can manually put them in like mine, I've got 8, 9, 10, 10 inputs or whatever I could change, you know, to whatever I want. I could put channel 7 and channel 8. So that way, the last two channels on my mixer are the stereo input. And then, X out of that, and on your stereo audio track, you can add another one if you want. Uh, you just go over to the inputs go down to test stereo or whatever you named it and uh, there it is uh, sorry this tutorial is kinda scratchy my throat's not doing too good um, but yeah if you found this uh, informative subscribe I'm gonna be doing more videos and I'm looking for feedback and looking for uh, any sort of topics you guys are interested in learning so uh, yeah hit me back let me know what you wanna learn uh, thanks a lot I'll talk to you later. Peace.